Hello and welcome back to another episode of Back to the Future. Now, just like the previous episode, there'll be a lot of simulating in this just because I want to get through the campaign a little bit quicker. I do want to move on to a second team before Christmas. So, we'll see how that goes. We jump into a simulated game against Yeovil Town in the FA Cup. We've got the second team out, so Begovic, Johnson, Ake, Terry, Van Anholt, Romeu, sorry, Chaloba, Charisma, Schurler, Kalu and Costa. And we immediately go 1-0 behind to, due to a Bailey goal. And then Charisma gets one back on the 20th minute and Kalu gives us the lead on the 30th. Can we get a third and see off Yeovil Town? 20 minutes to go, Ivanovic comes on for John Terry, Matic for Clue, and Diego Costa gets himself a goal and makes it 3-1 to Chelsea. Get in, through to the next round of the FA Cup. Okay, so another simulated game against Newport. Again, we're using the second team. We go 1-0 up through Charisma, and then Dolan immediately equalises and then Dolan misses a penalty and gets himself sent off and then Kalu scores oh, what a 10 minutes for Dolan for Newport there Kalu gets himself a brace 3-1 against Newport are we going to get the win and we do get in 3-1 let's jump into another one we've now got Bournemouth in the league we're using a full strength side this time can we get a win Defoe gets himself an early book in and a Simit and Lukaku and Salah get the goals 2-0 Chelsea who's next let's simulate another one we've got Watford away again using the strong team can we pick up a victory and we do Bruma getting a goal and Diego Costa coming off the bench to get the winner after Jamie Vardy put them ahead. We now have West Brom at home, February the 10th. We're using the second team. And Barry immediately puts them ahead. We're going behind a lot early on in these uh, simulated games, but... Costa gets comes on to win us the game again. Johnson and Kalu getting the uh, first and second goal. I think it's now time to jump into a Champions League game against Benfica. Well, it's the knockout stage in the Champions Cup. Okay, so it is of round really 16, of the Champions League. We're first away at Benfica, so I would like to get a few um, away goals if we possibly can. Hopefully, a couple of away goals will put us through in, in for, for the next episode. Right, the Benfica team. We've got Julio Cesar in goal, Yardel at the back, Elisu left back. I don't know any of their strikers. They've got Zivkovic on the wing, Fejla, is that CM? I don't know. It's a very weak Benfica side. It's a past prayer Benfica side I've seen. What's our team? The Chelsea line, obviously we've got a full strength out apart from Ore Romayu playing at CDM because Nemanja Matic is injured. It's a strong enough team to get ourselves a good position here. Okay, Benfica starting strong inside three minutes. What are they going to do with it? They try cut back and Romeo intercepts it into KDB. KDB over to Quadrado. I see Salah on the left hand side here. Can I switch it? I can. Salah, what am I going to do? We're going to cut inside. Got time now. Good. Back post. Quadrado. Oh, it's 1 0. What a one-two between Quadrado and Mohamed Salah. Get in. 1-0 Chelsea within five minutes, I think that might have been. Get in. It's a great little turn inside by Mohamed Salah and then Quadrado just headers it past the Julio Cesar in goal. 1-0 Chelsea. Okay, so we have a throw in here with uh, the Spaniard, Ore Romeu. 
passes it back to Felipe Louise, who looks for Oscar in the centre of the park. Oscar into KDB. Over to Mohamed Salah. Very influential in this opening 10 minutes. Salah loses out to Yardell, who just boots it away. Bruma tries to win the header, but it falls to Romeo. Back to Bruma. The Dutchman into Oscar. Oscar into KDB. Back to Romeo. Back to KDB. Back to Oscar. He's going to shoot. No, he's not. Out to Quadrado. He's going to shoot. Goal. He's missed it, but Oscar, Oscar gets the tap in. <laughs> oh. I don't know how that shot from Juan Quadrado didn't go in, but Oscar makes it 2 0 within 15 minutes. Get in. Two vital away goals as well. So it's not a. Uh, It's not just needless goals. We them goals are very, very important. Cadrado, oh, so close to getting himself on the score sheet again, but Oscar makes it two 0 Finishing it with his shin. Great finish from a tight angle. Get in, Oscar. Restarting at two Right, Benfica to kick us off. Raúl into Fajla. Back to Sandrini. Oh, I don't even know what that name was. Romero picks it up into KDB. We're not going to go for free, are we, this early on? We can't do, surely. Lukaku into Mohamed Salah. Stops and turns, does a little shimmy. Cuts back into KDB. KDB to Oscar. Oh, my God. It's free inside 20 minutes. <laughs> Get in. We go 3-0 up inside 20 minutes. It looks like not only have we won this game, but we've probably won the tie because I can't imagine us conceding three at home. Get in. <laughs> 3 nil Chelsea. That came immediately after the second goal. Right, 40 minutes now, almost half time, and Bruma wins the ball in the centre of the park. Benfica have been very poor this game. De Bruyne into Lukaku, back to De Bruyne. Is that four? And it is. Four goals before half time, and Benfica have been awful. They've been very, very poor. Nice little one two from the Belgians, but. Benfica just haven't been able to defend. I don't even need to play the remaining, what, 45 minutes and another game. Because I'm already 4-0 up. 4-0, get in. Right, we're into the second half now. And quite frankly, I'm just not interested this for this second half. But probably should we be. And, oh my god, I've, oh, I've accidentally switched to the goalkeeper. It's come back to bite me in the arse. Benfica get themselves a goal back. Straight from half time, and bringing on Forgan Hazard there as you can see, but straight from half, ta half time, the Chelsea boys have come out thinking they're all too good, and then Vega puts one past Petr Cech at the near post. 4 1. Right, nothing's happened in the uh, second half of this game since Benfica got their goal. So uh, I'll probably just skip to this part in the video. I'm just waiting for the full time whistle now. We've got four away goals. Hazard to make it five, though. No, nope, he doesn't. Falls to Quadrado, who's just going to hold it up into the on the byline. Well, and there is the full-time whistle. We win four goals to one, getting four very, very crucial away goals. Looks like we're going to go through to the quarterfinals. Get in. Right, we have eight shots, seven on target. They had four on two. We beat them in possession. We basically smashed them. Get him. Right, in the next episode, we have... A cup game against Liverpool, and then probably the sh probably the most tough t toughest episode. We've got Manchester United, Manchester City, and then we'll probably just sim that game against Benfica, considering we've got four away goals. And then we've got Palace and Burnley, and then a fairly decent April and then May. Right, let's look at the table. Chelsea and well, obviously Manchester United are up there. If they win their two games in hand, they'll only be a point behind us. So we will have to uh, beat them in the league. We beat them in the league, we have four points clear. So let's see if we can do that. All right, guys, if you've liked, please, well, if you've enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.